five months into this war, do you worry that the world is moving on beyond the war in Ukraine? I feel that the entire world is supporting us, but it is very important for us that this support doesn't vanish because every day brings new victims. First Lady Elena Zelenska told us she particularly worries about the toll this crisis is taking on Ukrainians' mental health. How do you, as First Lady, show the Ukrainian people that it's okay to ask for help? It's a sign of your strength to go and ask for support when you need it. It's an act of courage for them to ask for help. What has been the hardest part of this war for you personally? What I feel is that my children are in danger, and of course I'm quite concerned about it. Believe me, all our children are in danger nowadays. Their pain is mine, my pain. We need to finish this war as soon as possible. This trip to the U.S., her first time away from her 18-year-old daughter, Oleksandra, and 9-year-old son, Kirillo, since the war began. What does your son dream of? What does he want to be? Obviously, he wants to be a soldier. He wants to be a soldier. Obviously. That's what all Ukrainian boys must dream of now. I think, yes. <laughs> what does that make you think as a mom? Only thing he wants to do is martial arts and how to use a rifle. And that's what I really want um, to ensure is that the childhood of my son is given back to him and that he enjoys his life to the fullest. Just this week, the White House revealed new intelligence that shows that Russia is moving right now to try to annex parts of eastern Ukraine. Your reaction to that? You know, we always knew that. Everything they say in their official statement is a complete lie. They always wanted to destroy us, and we always knew about it. After meeting with the Bidens, who she calls real friends, her message to the American people tonight is simple. The war is not over yet. It is horrible when you have to uh, say goodbye to your loved ones and to organize fu funerals in the backyards of your houses. The war continues. Please don't forget about it. Her country's powerful plea. Peter Alexander, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.